Oh, hello! Welcome to Jazz Harmony by James Knapp with me, Reese Gerwin. Today's chapter, Chapter 4B, Part 2. In Part 1, we covered the four effects to watch out for when naming chords, and we covered chord symbol rules 1 through 10. If you didn't watch that video, I highly recommend it, because uh, it'll be easier to follow along with what's going on in this video. But if you don't really care about that, then uh, let's continue. Chord symbol rule number 11. The sharp 9 and the perfect 11th are never found in the same chord. The perfect 11th is a half step away from the major 3rd, which is a half step away from the sharp 9. And since the sharp 9 needs the major 3rd to exist in order for it to exist, uh, well that just creates a cluster effect in our chord, and that's not okay. Chord symbol rule number 12. Major and minor thirteenths can be used with minor and dominant type chords. Here's a couple examples. Voicing Voicing down, 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 one. One. Chord symbol rule number 13. Minor 13ths are not used in chords that have a major 9th and a perfect 11th, as this results in the dominant 7th effect that we talked about that kind of turns it into a different dominant chord. The logic of the system dictates that any chord with an extension is going to assume the lower extensions. Well, the 13th chord, the dominant 13th chord, is the exception to this rule, where it includes the 13th, it includes the 9th, but it doesn't include the 11th unless it is specifically stated as a replacement tone for the 3rd, like sus4 or 11. Chord symbol rule number 14. The major 13th can be used with major 7th type chords. Chord symbol rule number 15. The sharp 13 or plus 13 is not used in jazz harmony. Plus 13 or whatever, you know. So basically, I use. It's enharmonic to the minor seventh, so this results in a cluster or an augmented second, or you get the idea. We just don't use it. Chord symbol rule number 16. The flat 13 is not used with major seventh type chords, as this creates an augment second in the scale. Chord symbol rule number 17. The sharp 5 can be used in major seventh type chords. Lydian augmented, baby. Chord symbol rule number 18. A. Correct misspelling of the sharp 5 in a minor key. So, like a D7 sharp 5 in the key of G minor will be spelled like a B flat because it makes more sense to spell it that way in G minor than it does to spell it as an A sharp. Chord symbol rule number 18. B. The flat 13 replaces the fifth in dominant chords. And 18 C, dominant chords with a sharp five will assume the use of the sharp 11 to avoid the augmented second in the scale. Chord symbol rule number 19. Flat fives and thirteenths do not appear together in any chord type, unless of course a function is duplicated in a major chord or a dominant chord. But not a minor chord. Chord symbol rule number 20. The sixth and the flat fifth do not appear together in the same chord as this creates a dominant seventh effect. Oh. 
Voicing Down Challenge 2. One, the sharp five is not used with minor seventh type chords as this results in an augmented second in the scale. Chord symbol rule number 22. The flat six or thirteenth can be used in minor chords to replace the seventh. And the fifth. Interesting to note that all three chord types, major, minor, and dominant, can have the fifth chromatically altered. All right, the rest of the chord symbol rules are about the uh, seventh function. Chord symbol rule number 23. Only minor chords can use both minor 7 and major 7th intervals. Chord symbol rule number 24. The perfect 11th does not replace the 3rd in minor major 7 type chords. Chord symbol rule number 25, the flat 6 and the 6th can sub for the 7th in minor 7th and major 7th type chords. If the flat 6 subs for the 7th, then there needs to be a minor 7th in the scale in order to avoid the augmented 2nd. Chord symbol rule number 26. The minor 6 chord doesn't use the perfect 11th since this creates the dominant 7th effect. Voicing Down Challenge 3. Chord symbol rule number 27, the 7th in a minor 7 flat 5 chord cannot be altered, as if you make it a major 7th, it turns into a diminished chord. Alright, you're going to want to prepare yourself for this next chord symbol rule. It's number 28. The 6th cannot replace the 7th in a dominant 7th chord because it would basically just sound like a major 6 chord. But the seventh can be replaced by the fifteenth. The 15th can only replace the seventh and dominant chord with a flat nine present. Otherwise, there's not enough tension in the chord to actually function as a dominant chord. The 15 would sound like the root and not want to resolve down to the 7th. Since chord symbols only imply 3 or 4 notes, then any other added function should be expressed accordingly. So a C minor 7 with an 11th added to it. Or a C major 7 with a 13th added to it. Replacement tones can also be shown in the context of the chromatic scale, where our root is C and we go through each note and say what it can function as depending on the chord type. Stick around, stay tuned, and as always, 